Hey guys, welcome to another Graphic Sauce Media video. Today we're going to be continuing our backpacking uh, series where we kind of go through the different preparations that we're taking for this AT trip. And I'm really excited to bring this one to you because as you may or may not know, I am kind of a picky eater. And the idea of eating on the trail really kind of has me a little worried. And so I went to the store um, a few months back. I picked up some, some supplies and things like that and kind of wanted to put together a video for you guys of what I plan on taking on the actual trail. We're just gonna do like a taste test and kind of see what we like and kind of build out what we're gonna be taking on the trail uh, from here. And I highly recommend that you do something like this to make sure that you're eating well and getting the nutrition that you need while you're on the trail. Otherwise, you don't wanna, you know, you don't wanna starve yourself or anything like that, but making sure that you're, you're well prepared for it. And this is a great step if you are a picky eater like myself to try some foods, see what you like. Is there something that you can substitute for something like in here. So again, let's go ahead and try these out. We're gonna bring Amanda on the uh, on this episode, and uh, let's try some food. So let's get it. So we've got right now the, what, which one is cooking right now? Chicken and dumpling with vegetables. Chicken and dumpling with vegetables. So we got, you got that sealed up. We've got about a minute left on that. I figured, uh, what? Just before we stir it halfway through. Right, right, right. Okay. <laughs> so then. So we got about another five minutes total. Another five minutes total. Okay. So then I figure what we would do is while that's going, there's a couple other things that we need you need to kind of work not really worry about on the trail but like for food wise like while you're walking um because the way that john uh kind of envisioned or pressed impressed upon me is how our lunch is going to go is basically lunch is going to be on the trail and we're not really going to be stopping and cooking anything so we need something to actually let us um stop like eat while we're hiking so is that so if you want to go is, yeah and hit the four minutes on this so i can stir it and seal it for another four okay so there's that. What's is it looking good? It smells good. It's looking like mush. It looks like mush. <laughs> Which is why I'm trying not to stir it too much because it's got um, like a biscuit dumpling type. I mean, it's chicken and dumpling, so I don't want to make them too mushy by stir, like over stirring them. If that makes sense. Yeah. Um, there's that. I'm gonna set that aside again. We'll reseal. And let that finish. So while so while we're letting that finish, I figured I picked up a whole bunch of these epic bars. These are really I've tasted a couple of them and some of them are really good. Um, this one I have not tried yet. This is the uncured bacon, pork, and eggs. <laughs> I'm sorry, the egg yolk is what does it. the rest of it would be fine. It's the egg yolk. I, I can't eat a raw egg yolk. Um, this is this epic bar is the chicken sriracha. No, I have had that. That is that's good. one of my favorites. This one is Apple un uncured bacon, beef, With beef. beef, yeah, beef. <laughs> I was like, where's the? Is there nothing? This is beef, apple, uncured bacon, and then this one is venison, sea salt, and pepper. Which, which I, I do here. I had this one, which was really good. So I'm kind of curious to try this one. Um, 
You can get the. I got. We got these at Kroger. Kroger mm -hmm. has them. Um, I think you can pick them up. I don't. I don't see them at Meyer. Sell at Target. Target. Yeah, yeah, Target had them. So you can pick them up pretty much anywhere. Kind of in the health food or like the protein bar yeah, section. Where the, yeah, where the nutrition bar is. Yeah. No, hey. I want the egg yolks. I'm you don't sorry. want this? I, no, not the egg really? yolk. I can't do. Let's see. Can't really taste the egg. Well, I'm sure you can't. I mean, eggs, eggs pretty mi a mild tasting food to begin with. It's just probably additional protein. Um, but you've got 170 calories, which if you're going for, when you're, when you're hiking, you're going to need some decent calories. So there's not a lot of calories to this as far as like having this for a meal. Yeah. Um, now there's, you know, it's got nine grams of protein, which isn't bad for, you know, what it is. Um, the thing I'm noticing with all these foods, because they're dehydrated, is you've got a lot of sodiums. Yeah. So that's something to really watch that's going to dehydrate you more, so your water intake is going to be upped. Um, these have 500 milligrams of sodium. Um, this, in one serving, has 900 milligrams of sodium. Which, that that's this is two servings. Right. Like there's two servings per pouch. So if you divvy that up, you're, you know... Well, it's not 900 per bag. It's 900 in oh, a really? serving. Oh, really? Oh, shnikes. Okay, yeah. Right. So, I mean, you're talking... But that's, that's not far from, like, your lot of canned soups and stuff like that too that you know those th types right. of things are, are high that but it's just something that i'm thinking about not that i've like done backpacking but um so <clears throat> just watching what you're eating um there's people that have issues with sodium mm -hmm. with you know heart heart issues that need to watch those things right. um so just something to kind of be i guess did you set your alarm? aware of i did not crap <laughs> <laughs> That's all right. I don't think it can hurt it by sitting longer. Right. Okay. So, do, you want, do you want to open up a couple more of these? You want to? Um, the sriracha chicken I've had before. These are really good. We're going to eat them all. So. <laughs> We're not going to eat these all tonight. My, trust me, this would not be good for me to have all this sodium in one bite. So this one is the, That one I would not mind. I would eat that one. I'm not going to eat the, the deer. beef apple cured bacon. So this looks like it has, looks like it has chunks of apple in it. Something. I can't. I can't get it open. That's the problem with these. They are a little. Yeah, you had like pull them a like little tough all to the open. way down. There we go. Yeah. That smells really good. Here, it's like it's very very spicy. So this um, is... Okay, so the egg one was a little bit easier to cut. It's a little softer. Yeah, the chicken is not so soft. You know what? Just take a bite. I'm just yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so very spicy. Very flavorful. The beef one's okay. Mm. That one's okay. I think my favorite so far is definitely the sriracha chicken. But spicy. It's still good. <laughs> you should tr you should try you should try the the um, apple one. I'm just gonna take a bite out of it. Sorry. I won't open this one up because you won't try this, and I've already had it, and that's good. So. What do you think of the apple? Beef? Yeah. No. No. It. I don't know. And keep in it mind, doesn't have a lot of flavor to it. So keep. But it in, reminds me kind of of dog food. So keep in mind, I'm a very picky eater, and that's kind of the whole premise of this whole thing. And I will not eat like nutrition bars. Like if it has any type of oats in it or anything like that, I won't eat it. But you will on that. Nuts other hand. and oats and. Ugh, gross. Yeah. But so this stuff, I really. This stuff actually tastes pretty good. I. I could probably eat all three of these. I'm not a big fan of the the beef one, mm -mm. but the other the other two, the other two are really good. I really enjoy them. So, chicken, I do like. All right, so you want to open up our? Where do we want to plate this on that plate of this? Yeah, let's put it up this one. So normally you would probably just eat this right out of your your pot. Um, Although it does call for you to make it in here. Right, I know, I know. I guess you could you could probably just eat it with the long the long spork like right out of the bag. Yeah, but then again, you have two servings. Right. Well, that looks like mush. <laughs> it does. <laughs> it's not uh, visually it's not very appetizing. Attractive. Let me stick that right in there for a moment. Yeah, we'll have to wash this before our next uh, <coughs> trial. All right, so this is the ch freeze dried. Chicken and dumplings. With vegetables. It's got carrots. With vegetables are carrots and peas. Yep, carrots and peas. But you don't care for peas. She can eat around them. I Looks like there like might peas. be some corn in there, too. 
Wow. Wow. That's pretty good. That's not bad. That's actually pretty good. It's not something I'd probably be like, hmm, I really want this today if I was like sitting at home. Right. Um, but if you're out camping and there's not, you're not eating hot meals like for lunch and... This is pretty hot. Right. I mean, well, I just mean like it, it tastes like you got an actual meal. That's amazing. That's interesting. So the nice thing about this is with it being with it being um, frozen or freeze dried, you can open these up ahead of time. And like, let's say you don't absolutely can't stand peas. Like I can't stand peas. I'll eat around the peas or whatever. But what I'll probably end up doing is opening, buying another package, opening it up, dumping it out, and pulling the peas out, and then repackaging them into like two smaller bags. That because I don't need two servings. The peas are good. Well, you can have your you can I'll, you can have them. I'll give them to you. But that way, because I, I need to I need to divvy it up anyway into a smaller bag. So because the two servings, you know, there's no way to keep it, you know, good for the next day or whatever or the next meal. Um, actually, it would be the next day because if we don't if we're not stopping for lunch, I'm not gonna eat that for breakfast. Good. So, you guess we could. <laughs> so yeah, so I would probably while I'm divvying while I'm divvying it up into two separate. Um, actual like meals, um, pull out the uh, the peas themselves and or at least separate them out. But it's not that bad. Mm -mm. I'm noticing some of the chicken is a little hard. Is it? Like maybe it didn't get totally rehydrated. Mm. I don't know if you noticed that texture is a little different. Yeah, a little bit. So the other thing that I picked up too while I was at the store. Speaking of chicken, is these little chip packets of chicken breast? It's like the um, it's like packets of tuna. Right. So it's I think I'm almost positive it's pre cooked. Mm -hmm. Yeah. I've used those, but in cans. Right. Uh, so these making buffalo right. So these are in like the canned meat aisle. Mm -hmm. um, so you, they they usually usually you can get them in like small like like small sa saucer cans, but something like this you can, this is nice and easy you can pack and. Just, you know, same thing, just dump it right into your pot on the flame and warm it up and then you're good to go. So one of the things that I was thinking about, you know, if you didn't want to go this route with like these pre-made meals, you could just go down like the dry foods and pick up here's like um, mashed potatoes. So make the mashed potatoes per the instructions on the back inside your pot. And then once those are done, drop, you know, you'll probably have to siphon out the, the liquid that's in here because you probably don't want to eat that. Um, I wonder if you could cook it all together. Because this calls for so much water, right? Would that, I mean, would that... I would just probably... Siphon it out. That, just tear a small slit and then dump, dump it, it out. and then open it up the rest of the way. But yeah. you could go mashed potatoes. You could go, they have those um, packets of like the different types of noodles, like the Lipton noodle. Mm -hmm. um, like I think they have even like an Alfredo, like in a little package. Right. Um, so you could go and, and get lots of different things with that. Right. So if you, you know, and those are, and this is something like it's, it's light enough. Like this could be, you know, a full meal in of itself between these two things. Like that's more than, you know, more than enough for one person. And if you're, if you're hiking with a buddy, you can, you know, you know, do, uh, you know, each, each, uh, make your own or whatever and then share. Um, the other thing that I got was these right here. I liked those. These were, these were actually really the good. The kids didn't care for them. The kids, yeah, they didn't care for them. These are called real fruit yo-yos. Um, it's kind of like the fruit leathers. You can buy those, those right. fruit leathers. Um, and the nice thing about these is, you know, you don't have to carry, like, any fruit with you. Like, because I think it says uh, one cup of fruit per pack. No, it says that, but if you look at the um, vitamins and things on the back, it doesn't really have any. It's got potassium. Oh, okay. Like, 2%. But there's no vitamin D. There's so I'm not really sure where they're coming up with that. That's interesting. <clears throat> it says 100% fruit and veggie rolls. Yep, and it's got apples, pears, strawberries, and black carrot extract. So that's all your ingredients. Yeah. Um, I don't know if a lot of times when you cook out your well any any fruits or vegetables, they lose nutrients when they're cooked. Uh, raw fruits and vegetables are always mm -hmm. healthier for you. Um, so I don't know if that's why they're not showing, but one would think 
that there would be some nutrition to these. Right. So, we'll, so these um, are meant for kids. These are meant for kids, but if you don't want to have to carry like apples and stuff like that in the pack, which suck, and then you have to you know worry about apple cores and all that. So it's a nice little sweet treat. Right, and this is the nice thing about these is you can actually fit these like in your side pouch or whatever. So like you know for a snack or whatever or part of your lunch. So like obviously eating this isn't going to be like you said a full meal, but like these two things you know might be considered. You could probably consider that like a lunch or whatever. Um, but these are, I like these. These are really good. <laughs> so sorry. That's all right. <laughs> There's two rolls. This is our dinner tonight. This is our dinner, <laughs> FYI. So cheers. <laughs> Um, the things you do all in quarantine. Right, exactly. Welcome to our quarantine channel. 100% <laughs> all the time quarantine. <laughs> so, so it's just another good alternative. Small. The the one downside is you'll have to pack out the trash um, that it creates. And they make your finger sticky. And they make your finger sticky. So that sucks. <laughs> so they do get kind of expensive. I think it was three fifty for a box of five. So, mm -hmm. so you get two rolls per one, so. Which it's a cup of fruit per pack, so right. with those two rolls. Right, so we just had a half cup each. Mm -hmm. So. Yay. Right. Um, the other thing that I wanted to um, mention, drinking coffee in the morning and kind of getting like some, an energy boost from the coffee. And basically, I don't drink coffee. So no. I, again, picky eater. But uh, one of the things that I picked up was one of these energy drink um, supplement things that you basically add to your water container. Um, this is, you know, you pick these up at Kroger. I think, is it Mio that makes them or whatever? We do, or you can get off-brand. Off-brand ones. These work just as well. They've got energy-specific ones, so they have a little bit more caffeine in them. Um, B vitamins too, possibly? Yep. Yep. Caffeine and B vitamins. B3, B6, and B12. The nice thing about this versus the coffee is nothing against coffee drinkers and don't want to offend anyone don't get off in, don't go off in a tizzy but if you're drinking your coffee you can't hike and drink your i guess you could you might be able to i don't know if people do that or not to me i don't think i would if i had a hot drink in my hand i don't think i would be hiking and drinking at the same time i mean you probably finish it before you head out right exactly <clears throat> whereas with something like this you just squirt this in your water bottle and you've got your caffeine fix like while you're hiking. Um, so. Okay. All right, should we try to make another one of these things? Which other, what's the, uh, I guess we don't have to make both of them. We could just make one. We've got a breakfast skillet and we've got breakfast, or biscuits and gravy, which biscuits and gravy could be done for breakfast or lunch. Right. Or dinner. Which one do you want to do? What sounds good? Um, let's try the breakfast skillet. Skillet. Okay. I'm just curious about the eggs. All right, let's clean this up, and then we're gonna let's cook that one real quick, and then we'll. Well, I do like biscuits and gravy, but I have a feeling that we just we just had dumplings. Yeah, which is biscuity. So yeah, biscuity. Yeah, I'm thinking the breakfast. Let's try the breakfast one. Skillet. All right, so we're looking for is eight and four. So. Oh, I need more water. There's four. Or eight. Important step. Put the water in before you heat the cup. Yeah. And there's four. So Twelve ounces, and that's what's on the bag, right? Yep. Yeah. All of these are. Oh, maybe not. The biscuits and gravy is one and a third, one and three quarters cups. So this one requires a little more water. Oh. This one does require one and a half, which is. Okay. Maybe jump. Put that on there. I think I'm gonna get. Uh, Amazon sells these neat little feet that you can attach to the bottom of the propane tank, and they go out like an extra three inches. And they Just pull, to give it a little. To give it a little bit more, so it doesn't like shake. <laughs> I think I might be investing in those. So I wonder how many meals we get out of one of these little propane tanks. This is four. It's a four ounce propane tank. Uh, the reason why. I've got this one and I've got one that's slightly larger. The reason why I went with this one is because this actually fits in the bottom of this actual pot. So like all this, all my stuff minus this, this is just something for us to measure. Well, that's something you can probably ask Swallow out too, is, is this size going to 
Yeah, how last many year. how many times? Because yeah. he's been on one of these trips. Before. Right. Because I think there's actually enough. There might be enough space to actually fit two of these in here. Although then I don't think I'd be able to fit the stove in, unfortunately. That's really good. Hot. That's good. It is spicy. So this um, breakfast skillet has hash browns, scrambled eggs, mixed with pork sausage patty, peppers, and onions. Sounds good. Not a big fan of onions, but if it's in the right mix, like I'll eat onions on like a cheeseburger if they're diced. Well, and judging by the consistency of the last meal we tried, I wouldn't imagine that they would be big chunks, large and chunky and, right. and hard. Right. Um, they're, I would imagine they would kind of get mushed into the the mush of it. Right. It's not hot. I do see it popping up though from the what. You see the water droplets popping oh, up? Oh, <laughs> yeah. I guess you could put the lid on it. I bet it would boil faster. The lid's all the way over there, though. Then that's another hot piece to deal with right now, too. It's true. It's very true. It really isn't taking that long to boil. So, we're going to cut all this part out. I would imagine. You like you don't want to try the egg one? It's good. It's all right. I have my principles. I guess we can open this up and take a look inside. Yeah, open it up. Pull out the little oxygen packet. All right. I like how it tells you. Make sure you zip lock. You don't know. open below the zip lock thing. Oops. I like how it tells you. I can't really open it. Never. Um. If you forget to remove this, don't worry, your food's still edible. The eggs look like eggs. Oh, yeah. It looks like the peppers are nice and diced up. I don't know if you can, I don't know if you'll be able to see that. Probably not so much. Um, they were boiling. Yeah, boiling. So, yeah, it looks like the peppers are cut up. I can't tell what's egg and what's, or what's biscuit and what's um, onion. So, that's a good sign. For me, because I'm picky. Right. Again. It's okay. Like you got green, a mix of green and red pepper. So we're going to turn the heat off. And we'll move that over there. I'll let you very carefully very and slowly. Very carefully. Got to get that beat roll. The long high pour. There we go. And zipper. Uh, I'd like give her a stir first. All right, where's spoon go? So then we take uh, our spoon. Carefully stir, carefully and close. And again, it's a total of nine, eight to nine minutes stirring halfway through. If you if you like, you don't have to. There we go. And zipper up and wait. Ooh, it's hot. One might say boiling hot. So, this, so Mountain House makes a ton of these. They're all sold out right now because of the virus, but <clears throat> or I'm assuming so. But we saw lasagna in there. We saw spaghetti. spaghetti. There was a whole bunch of different egg one, like egg mm -hmm. and hash brown ones. Or so like teriyaki, like some some with rice. Right, um, some with rice. So I mean, you I mean, uh, these will run. I think we bought. They'll run you anywhere from like six and a half dollars all the way up to ten bucks, depending on which ones you're buying and from where. Um, I know at our REI camp shop they were a little more expensive, but they were on sale, so we got them for I think it was like seven fifty. Um, but if you consider it's two two dinners, two dinners, right? Um, which is, I mean, it's nice if you're camping. Like if, if me and Eli go out, I wouldn't have to give you this up. Like I could just we could just pack the whole thing. I would probably trim, depending on where the seams are or whatever. I could probably trim it down a little bit so it's not quite so bulky. Now, again, though. This one serving, right? So half of this is only 350 calories. So if you are aiming for a 2,000 calorie diet, right? Mm -hmm. Probably more if you're going to be exerting so much energy. Eating 350 calories for each meal might not be enough. Isn't going to be enough? That's only getting they're only going to get 900 something calories. Yeah. You need to double that. 
Well. And so you got to find ways to get those calories in. Crap. Because you're, the lunch that you're talking about there was 60 plus, what, 150? What am I looking at? Calories? Mm -hmm. 120. 120 plus 60. So this is only 180 calories for, right. your, for your lunch. Again, not nearly enough. No. Um, even if you're only eating three meals at 500 calories, that's 1,500. Right. You're going to have to find some snacks in between, so, there, which yeah. is where your trail mix and things like that come in. Yeah. If you like nuts and chocolates and raisins, those are good ways to add additional protein and calories in. Again, right. that's something you don't care for. So, <laughs> one, so one of the things that Squall mentioned was like crackers and cheeses and uh, summer sausages, stuff like that that you can eat. You know, if it's a on the move, on the move, like a prepackaged cheese where you can eat it all. You know, over the next you know hour, hour and a half, or whatever, and it won't go bad. Summer sausage, as long as you can, as long as you wrap it up, you should you should be good to go. Um, stuff like that that you can eat on the move. He right. he's planning on he plans on using basically. I think he said he's planning on using his spoon and like a jar of peanut butter. You can also get um, they make with the nut butters um, these like little individual packets mm -hmm. of like almond butter and just different the different types of nut butters and yeah. like, those little packets would probably be another thing that you could easily open. And, and squirt them on some cracker, like graham crackers or something like that that maybe you take with you. Because yeah. that's what, yeah, you look at this and you're like, oh yeah, that's good, 350 calories. All right, well yeah, if I'm on a diet, right. I mean, I mean and, I can, and I'm I not exercising. I can stand to use a, little, a few pounds, so maybe I should start <laughs> well, myself on this thing. Yeah, that for, for you, a 1,200 calorie diet while you're hiking 10, you're going to, yeah, you're going to wither away. It's not going to be healthy for you. Yes. All right. Smells... Like Ooh. peppers and sausage? The eggs? Ooh, look at that egg. It's like, it's actually kind of gushy. Like, it's not like yeah. the hard. Okay, so. Let's see yeah, and these probably aren't the most visually appealing meals I've ever seen in my life. No, this kind of looks like vomit, to be honest with you. Which is why I say, what you is know, this? Stirring. This has got biscuits in it? Hash browns. Hash browns. That's probably what I'm seeing that's kind of. Okay. Which is why over stirring is probably not your friend because <laughs> you're just mushing it up even further. You just stick a straw in it and just drink it through a straw. <laughs> you okay. can drink it on the move. These, so far, these smell. The smell is really good. And the taste of um, this chicken and dumplings was actually pretty good too. Mm -hmm. um, and that's got a high protein too. Now, this biscuits and gravy, you can see it's not marked with a, a protein number. It's not. Um, and I don't know if that's because these are both, well, this is a, this is a breakfast, this is entree. Um, this is only eight grams of protein versus three and, or 13 and 15. Um, so I don't know if they don't want to just advertise eight, like, oh, that's not that much. Right. All right, so we are ready to crack this open. <laughs> Look gross. It smells good. Warmer. Okay. Right, uh, this doesn't look too bad. It's not really runny. It's it looks thick. Um, obviously, all the stuff is in there cooked together, so it's gonna uh, pretty much all these meals are gonna look a little bit like mush. Yeah, they're um, gonna they're gonna look like mush. Everything's all cooked together. Um, smells like sausage. Mhm. Mm like a cooked sausage. You can smell the peppers. The eggs. Are, the <laughs> eggs are interesting. It's hard to tell what's egg and what's, um... You almost have to eat, like, a chunk of egg. Yeah. I must say, I don't... I don't care for this one as much as I did the other. This one's not bad. I don't like it. Do you? Yeah. I can taste the... You can taste the peppers. And the sausage. The texture is just a little different. Here's, like, a big a chunk of egg. You want a big chunk of egg? That's all right. So, yeah. Um, the... The, the hash browns are... Kind of chopped small. <laughs> well, and I, but I think um, that's the grain, the graininess I'm getting. The small little yeah. chunks of hash brown. No, this is good. I like this one. All right, guys. Well, thanks for watching. Um, this was uh, the next video in the series. We've got a couple more coming out before the actual hike itself. Um, 
So stay tuned for that. Make sure you subscribe. Leave a comment down below. Um, if you're a picky eater or what type of foods you eat on the trail, what are you looking forward to trying out? Um, to be honest with you, I think I like the skillet one. That my is my favorite. Really? I know. I know you said you like the dumpling one. Yeah, I think I like the chicken and dumplings. But those things, those aren't that bad. They're not that bad of a deal. Eight bucks for you know for a meal and a half. You know, not too bad. So, all right. Well, thanks for helping me eat food. <laughs> no problem. We've got a lot of food to eat, so we don't waste it. So, all right. Thanks for watching, guys. We'll see you in the next video. Goodbye. Cheers.